What is going on everybody? Yes, that's right. We are outside of the brand new Vinewood Car Club here in the Port of Los Santos. And I'm not gonna lie to you. This is super controversial. I don't know. Let me let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Come on. So this is the exclusive Vinewood Car Club, a VIP safe haven for car connoisseurs, shall we say. Anyone can access this location, but for GTA Plus members exclusively, you get special perks such as the right to test drive these cars, purchase them at a discounted price, and access to this exclusive stock that you can access in free mode. As well, you get this bad boy on the podium right behind me. But walking around the car club, I would say that it is a bit underwhelming. I mean, it just looks like a 10 car garage here. Nothing special. I would expect at least maybe a little bit nicer marble flooring. And I don't know, why are those box of tires over there in the corner? Makes no sense to me, makes it look less classy. It doesn't really offer anything special to me in the sense that I can own a 10 car garage and it just, I expect the NPCs to be here, like at the Los Santos car meet, but you know, it, it just doesn't live up to the hype, I feel like. One good thing about the Vinewood Car Club this week is that you can find the brand new Itali GTO Stinger TT here at a discounted price. The original price is 2.2 million, but for GTA Plus members, you obviously get that discounted price at 1.9 million, which is, you know, a pretty nice discount. You also get the Itali GTO with these black stock wheels that you can only exclusively get from the Vinewood Car Club. So it makes it kind of worth the purchase to buy the car here. But the Vinewood Car Club is still super controversial and let me explain to you why. Rockstar just removed over 200 cars from the game and there, some of them are here. And you can only exclusively find them here at the Vinewood Car Club. Those cars including the Sterling GT here behind us, the Frontier, the RE7B, only can be found here at the Vinewood Car Club, not on any websites. So that means that you have to pay for a GTA Plus membership in order to access older vehicles. That's a bit controversial and I can find some people not necessarily being comfortable with that, simply because they're older stock, meaning Rockstar's not gonna add new stock, they're just gonna reuse material and make us pay for it. But I would argue that there is an upside to this whole story and I would say that for new players it would make the game more immersive for them. If you haven't had these vehicles before and they've been removed from the game and you've never had access to it, now you can in an exclusive way and it'll make the cars feel new to you. For seasoned players like me who've been playing the game since it came out, it'll also reinvigorate that immersiveness and it'll make me want to rebuy the cars or maybe drive some older vehicles that I haven't necessarily driven in a long time. Relight the fire, shall we say. I don't know. You let me know in the comments how you feel about it. So are you or have you bought your membership to the exclusive Vinewood Car Club? Let us know down below with a comment. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, you know what to do. Leave a big ass, fat ass thumbs up so that YouTube recommends it to other people. And in the meantime, we plan on making more content for the update. And you don't want to miss our next video, so you know what to do. Subscribe, people. Let's fucking go. Let's go.